So here is another example where we are required to uh, determine the Fourier series coefficients for the periodic signal, uh, which is given in this uh, example. Um, in addition to that, uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to determine what the fundamental uh, frequency uh, for the signal as well. So that's the first thing we're going to do, and then we're going to follow it up uh, with what the Fourier series coefficients are. So, um, so the fundamental frequency. So, what is the fundamental frequency? Let's start with that. So, um, in order for me to do that, let me just try to find the, the fundamental uh, period for this signal. Let me. Uh, say that the fundamental period for this um, is T1 and the fundamental period uh, for this signal is T2. And let's just uh, determine individually what these T1 and T2s are. That's fairly simple. Um, so T1 is just basically uh, 2 pi divided by the frequency, uh, which is 2 pi by 3. Uh, so this is just three seconds. Uh, similarly, T2 is 2 pi by the frequency of sine, uh, which is 5 pi by 3. Uh, so this is going to be equal to 6 by 5 seconds. And then what we're required to do next is to try to determine the uh, fundamental period of, uh, of, of the signal that you obtain by summing them up. Um, and this, as you know, is going to be uh, that period, which is not only an integer multiple of three, but also an integer multiple of uh, t2. So we're interested in finding that t, which is some integer multiple of uh, three, uh, where m is that integer, as well as some integer multiple of uh, six by five. And it's fairly obvious that this implies that t is going to be equal to 6. Right? So 6 is the smallest period, which is not only an integer multiple of 3, but also an integer multiple of 6 by 5. So the fundamental frequency, or the fundamental period uh, for the signal that's given in this uh, problem statement is t equal to 6. And this implies that the fundamental frequency um, is just 2 pi by 6, which is pi by 3. Now, given this information, let us move on uh, to determine the Fourier series coefficients. And the way we're going to do this uh, is by a simple, um, simple for, uh, eyelid expansion. Um, and so x of t is 2 plus 1 upon 2 e raised to part j 2 pi by 3 t plus 1 by 2 e raised to part minus j 2 pi by 3 t plus 4 upon 2 j. So that's just 2 upon j e raised to part j 5 pi by 3 t minus 2 by j e raised to part minus j 5 pi by Right, and that's the Fourier series expansion. All we need to do is uh, we need to write these frequencies as some integer multiples of the fundamental frequency pi by three. Um, so therefore, uh, x of t is two plus one by two e raised to power g j two times pi by three, where pi by three member is the um, fundamental frequency plus 1 upon 2 e raised to 1 minus j2. And then you have the fundamental frequency, which is pi by 3. Uh, for the other two terms, this is 2 by j, e raised by j 5 times pi by 3 times t, and then minus 2 by j, e raised to 1 minus j 5, pi by 3 times t. And then we clearly see that this coefficient is really a zero. This coefficient is a two because of this, um, because of this two here. And then this coefficient is a minus two 
um, this coefficient is a5 and this coefficient with the minus sign is a minus 5 once again because of this 5 minus 5 here plus 5 here minus 2 here and so on and so forth so our conclusion therefore our, our solution is that a naught is 2 a 2 is 1 by 2 a minus 2 is also 1 by 2 a 5 is 2 by j which is complex and finally a minus 5 is minus 2 by j which is also complex so there you have it